He understands that even small gatherings of the baptized were designed to have an outsized effect. I love Episcopalians. We punch above our weight. <laughs> Perhaps this is what Jesus was reacting to when he said those famous words, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. There's a labor shortage, according to Jesus. And if we follow the lesson closely, the shortage is in the areas of, listen, teaching that leads to soundness, preaching that leads to liberty, and healing that restores mind, body, and soul. That's the work. Jesus' worry about the labor shortage has to do with two additional things, it seems. Compassion that becomes leadership and leadership that is compassionate. It's an extraordinary to think about, isn't it? It's extraordinary to think about that today is connected to that long ago expression of Jesus' longing to care for the fainting and the scattered and those without advocate or remedy. It's extraordinary to think that Richard and David and Jane and all of us are an expression of Jesus' compassion for the world and answers to Jesus' prayers for laborers who would show up and say yes with their hearts and their hands.